Hi there, what I'm going to look at now is how to use 3D Rerun to uh, prepare for a race. The uh, case I'm looking at today is how to uh, look at the Yukula Relay, where many of you are going to run, I'm sure. And there is an old map for uh, some of the area of the Yukula Relay, which was used for Yukula 1992, and that's the case I'm uh, going to look at. Uh, I'm first going to look at uh, maps which are close to the 1992 map where people have actually run and look a little bit about the speed you can achieve in the, in the terrain. Uh, for that purpose I uh, can load routes from the database by clicking here, add routes from database. A window opens here and I can for example choose this one which is from a night training in uh, last September. The uh, runner pops up here and I can choose the map by going to select map over here. So uh, here we have the map and the course and uh, I can start the runner and you see his pace here, 7.42 per kilometer, 5.27, it's on the road and so on. I can stop him using the uh, analysis function which is over here. We can uh, look at uh, kilometer times, the pace at different places in the terrain. So here, out of the first control, his uh, average pace is 627. We see a table coming up down here. We can also look at the pace time plot, so we can see how his, uh, his pace varied on the split from uh, seven and a half minutes per kilometer up here and mostly around 6.5 here. Here on the road it's uh, significantly far faster, around 5 minutes per kilometer. Going up again towards the second control, we are uh, first between 6 and 7 minutes per kilometer and then when he does the mistakes it goes towards 9 minutes per kilometer. Uh, we'll look a few more places. I, I think I'll set the pace in the terrain to maybe 7 minutes per kilometer and uh, we'll set the pace in uh, on the roads to around 5 let's see 8 12 8 one part here which is uh, slow looks like uh, that's through uh, a green area or um, something like that here it's also slow again that's probably just uh, orienteering using the map um, so let's see one more on the path. Here we are around 5 minutes per kilometer in the terrain again between 6.5, 7, 7.5. So I, based on what I see here, I think for uh, the next simulation I will put 5 minutes per kilometer in uh, on road and 7 on the in the terrain. So what we do then is we go uh, back to the map without route, which is the Yukula 1992 map. Uh, we remove uh, this runner, we don't need him anymore. We also uh, remove all the controls and all the stuff from the analysis. I also click away the auto single analysis control because we want to define several controls. So uh, now let's take a look at the old uh, Yokula map and just define a few controls here. Just to make it a little bit more fancy, we make uh, some uh, 3D controls. That looks nicer, it's not necessary. Um, let's say we have a start over uh, here and uh, we put a control maybe over here somewhere so we have a leg here and it's just an example for uh, to see what we can do um, then we go to the measure tool and uh, define two types of uh, terrain we say road is uh, 5 minutes per kilometer we say 7 minutes is 
flat terrain. Uh, we can maybe say that path is 530 and uh, 830 for uphill terrain. So now we have some pace categories which we can which we can use. So uh, then I will uh, draw a few route choices here. Uh, I will start with uh, the very direct one. Ah, we can. Uh, I will also put in a march marsh, which I just now put for at uh, eight minutes per kilometer. So the, the very direct route starts uh, from the control here. I hit Control and Alt to define the first point of uh, of the route. Uh, then I then we start with uh, a path. A few points on the path. I uh, change over to uh, flat terrain, and then I can take uh, marsh. And change again to some flat terrain, and again some uh, marsh. And uh, let's take uphill terrain up here. and uh, again flat terrain here. This is just an illustration of how it works. It's not something uh, I'd really do this way uh, later on, but let's just see what comes out of it. Uh, and then let's uh, define a new line which uh, takes the path all the way over here. So uh, we say uh, path, define the start here path, path, path. It's a small path, so the speed should probably be a bit lower there. And uh, the runner won't exactly know where to take off, but it's just for illustration. Then we take the uphill terrain and into the control. And uh, based on the values we put in, we get 648 for this one and 631 for the other one. So it's slower um, based on the values we put in. Um, we could have uh, defined a, a third route as well, but for now we only define these two routes. Um, then we say uh, make routes from line and uh, GPX routes are generated. We clear the lines and uh, we can now do two different things. One thing is to just play the route from, from the start here and see what happens. Now uh, route 1 did get a little st uh, good start here, but you see now route 2 is faster here as uh, he's on the road, on the path, while it is slower here in the, uh, in the marsh. So you can actually simulate what uh, it would be like and get a feel for uh, how the difference is are in the in the terrain. You can also just put a line there with just one color, with with one pace. But uh, it's nice to have the possibility to change the pace like this. And here you see that even if this uh, route is a lot longer, it's nearly as fast because you have a lot more path running. So you can also go up to to the analysis tools now and use them like any other analysis tool. And uh, we can make a chrono analysis and. Uh, we can see here, uh, we should do the auto single analysis and remove all controls. So now there are no controls here, so it gets a bit confusing. But doing like this, you can see how, how the speed uh, is higher here than here. And, uh, and therefore, there's very little difference in, in the two routes, even if one runner is much faster. Uh, one route is much shorter than, uh, than the other. Okay, this was just a very short example. Thank you for uh, following.